and welcome to Computercraft EDU Survival Series with me, Wizard Keen. Uh, oh, what's that over there? A spider. And uh, and a spider in the corner over there. And of course, Stampy Bot standing to my left. Uh, I've certainly achieved my left and rights. I have uh, managed to do that. And let's turn myself around. Let's go and see what this spider's doing. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is a survival... You, the fabric of space-time is going a bit bonkers for this spot. I, yeah, let's just, no, I don't like you falling through <clears throat> the, um, the actual, the, the fabric of reality. It's never a good thing. It's never a good thing. We've had a few things uh, happen. There's been a couple of creeper incidences. There's some, been some explosions, all sorts of stuff. But we're still here. We're still trying to mine our way down the bottom there as well. Uh, first things first, though, I've, I, I have got some shears now, so I'm going to go and uh, just see if I can find a sheep. A sheepy. A couple of sheep, that's what I need. I need to find some sheep and uh, and shear their, their little woolly coats and uh, so I can get a bed sorted out pronto because it's, uh, it's not good enough. Whoops-a-daisy. Okay. We need something. Let's go. Hello, chickens. Hi, oh, yeah, chickens. Hey, here's an idea. I wonder if uh, I can get the uh, old Stampy Bot to, like, <clears throat> live with chickens for a while and collect their eggs, detect whether they've got an egg, and then go and cook it for me. Or perhaps make a cake. I'm not sure. There's some. Sh there's some. Oh, it's raining. There's some pigs. And where there are pigs, there are trees. And where there are trees, there are cows and trees. Um, but I just want a couple of sheep. Uh, what's over there? That looks like there's been some... Been some damage. Oh, there's a skeleton. Perfect. Perfect. I mustn't get too far away from, from Stampy Bot. Um, <clears throat> let me clear my throat a little. Uh huh. Uh huh. All I want is a sheepy to make a bed. This is uh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Mm -hmm. Usually this would be ideal spot. This this forest is sort of dark oak forest. is massive. Absolutely huge. I've kept going in the same direction, so I think I'm going to be okay. Ah, I heard a sheep. Oh, there you are. Perfect. I'll get out of the way from the skeleton. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, you got me good. You got me good. Okay, so at least I got some wool. And let's run back uh, and continue our programming adventures with Stampy Bot. Okay, I made it back. Took me a while. I got a bit shot. Let's have a look at myself. In the head, would you believe? Shot in the head. Here's my... Uh, let's grab some food while I'm here. Uh, a couple of bowls of mushroom stew should do it. Yum, 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 yum. And another one. Oh, I might need... I might need another one. Uh, let's grab myself uh, some of this stuff as well. So, a um, couple of bowls. Let's put all the bowls. Stack the bowls in there. Let's grab the mushrooms as well. And grab myself some more mushroom stew. Seems to be some zombie activity outside as well. Let's close the door. I can hear them grumbling and growling and stuff. We'll wait for the rain to go. Um, so, but while we're here, well, let's 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 look at uh, what we've got going on. So, Stampy Bot is out there. What we're going to be doing is, we're, hopefully today, I'm going to be doing some strip mining, and we're going to use a new command inside of of uh, of the uh, of the of Stampy Bot as well. I, I, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to go outside. Oh, here you are. I wonder, oh, a villager. Proper villager. Such a shame to have to kill you, unfortunately. But I don't want to take any chances. Let's go over there. This is, uh, look, go, yeah, you come here. Come here. <clears throat> Good. Go away. Thank you. Love my house, by the way. Loving it. There's a skeleton as well. 
they they do love this area. Uh, it's unfortunate because uh, I live here. <laughs> oh, there's another one. It's so dark and delightful for them. Let's surprise this skeleton. Boo! Surprise! Anybody else? Anybody else? No. Okay. Look, I need to... Um, I need to program my... Why don't I build something to pro... Why don't I build a tiny shelter? Oh, sausages. Because I've got to kill the zombies. Let's kill the zombies. Okay, we're going to build uh, a little shelter so I can work in peace. Okay? So I can work in peace. Uh, it's going to be pretty ugly. Do you like that? Pretty ugly. Ouch! It's going to be pretty, but ugly. Okay, here we go. There we go. I think that should... Let's just get over the top over here. I don't want anybody getting in when they shouldn't. So it should protect me. Um, and we'll put a little door in. I don't need... I don't need a roof just yet anyway. <laughs> I might need one eventually. Okie dokie. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just going to put that there. I haven't got, I haven't got enough... I have got a door, but that's okay. Right, Stampy Bot. Um, let's just put a, t a tiny roof over the top of me. And get rid of those bits as well. Right, Stampy Bot. Listen, we've got work to do. Okay, let's open you up. Let's look at your programming. And, oh, this is what I was trying out before. So let's... Let's let's break that down. Yeah, let's get rid of it. And I'm going to show people um, what we're going to do. So I've been looking, and there's this thing called four. And I've been wondering, what on earth is four for? Well, let's go and find out, shall we? So what we do is, if we press four here, then we get all these red things. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Lot, lots of things. And I'm not sure what they all are. But well, let's just work on it, and uh, we'll, we'll find out. So this one is like... So 4x, okay, so let's like, this is a variable. So what a variable is, is like, a variable is uh, like the letter x, right? And we can assign a string to it. Not a piece of string, uh, but we can assign a number, okay? So at the moment, x equals, uh, so click to add equals required. So x equals, right, <laughs> yeah, 1. And uh, then click to add a nu numeric operator or two, and it's required. So we're going to say, uh, so x equals one, two, and then we're going to add another number, and we're going to call this uh, 10. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to say do. So basically, we're going to say x equals one to 10 and do. So basically, it's going to add, it's going to, rather than repeating forever and ever, it's going to do something 10 times. It's going to do the thing. So what I want it to do is I want it to uh, dig and move forward and then dig up, okay? And that way, it will, it, this is a short way of creating a corridor. We created a corridor last time, but this is going to be like a super efficient way of creating a corridor, right? Um, and... We can also make it do this. We can say, turn right. Okay. And then dig. And then um, move forward. And turn right again. And dig. And move forward. Hopefully makes sense. Uh, and then... I think that will be it. Let's press end. Okay, so this is this should. Um, I'm not too sure about this bit. It might kind of go round and round and round on itself. So it might kind of go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, turn right, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, no, that might work. That might work a treat. 
Uh, but then it'll go like that. So, so yeah. So why don't I put these outside of this one, like that. So that's the loop on that one. And then right at the end, it's going to just turn itself around and get ready for the next bit. That seems fair enough, doesn't it? Okay. So, but while we're here, we're going to get Stampy Bot. And we're going to look through your eyes, Stampy Bot. And we're going to go down. We're going to descend down here. And we're going to try our hand uh, at, um, at basically a bit of strip mining. Okay. Um, yeah, let's turn this way. Oh, brilliant. Uh, down we go. Down. Oops. Forward. Down. Forward. Down. Forward. Down. Forward. Forward. Down. Forward. There we go. It's a long way of doing it, but um. Oh well, I tell you what. Why don't we? Why don't we create a little program? Okay. We'll do the. We'll do our first experiment. We'll say four x equals one. Okay, two, let's say, mm, let's say 50, right? Okay, uh, do, and all I want you to do <clears throat> is move forward and down. And end. And then press go. And I'm going to close that. While he's moving down, forward and down, forward and down, forward and down. Look at this. What danger I'm in. Let's create some proper stairs so I've actually got a hope. Uh, to actually get down these myself. There we go. Off with trots. All the way down there. It's getting a bit dark here, so I'm going to just put some lights. I'm going to light it up. And one here as well. It's a bit dark down here too. So that was quite useful. A quite useful find for me uh, figuring out. Oh, he's reached the bottom. Well, well done. That's fine. That's fine. We we weren't gonna. I wasn't gonna make you go any further. Stamp bot. Okay. Did you get the um? Yeah. Movement obstructed. So we'll just move you up. Well, oops. We'll just turn you around. Move you forward, and up again. You're gonna. Oh, movement obstructed. Okay. Let's get out of. Uh, let's get out. Oh, it's because I'm in the way. Uh, let me get out the out your way, Stamp bot. Uh, we're gonna move you up and forward. And probably up one more, okay, because I don't want you to accidentally knock yourself into uh, the old, uh, the old uh, unbreakable blocks down here. They seem to be, they seem to be that. Okay, let's, this is our first test uh, with our new program, which was this one here. Okay, so this is should this should mine a corridor. Okay, and then he should turn around at the end of it, in theory. Okay, so where's he gone? There he is. Oh my goodness, diamond! I think we struck lucky. What what an amazing amount of joy! There's some diamond there, and then you turned around as well. I can hear a spider. Uh, let's pre press play again. I like this, but you've got to, yeah, I've got to. Oh my gosh, we have hit the mother load of, of diamonds here. How many diamonds did you get in there? I know, I know, nothing to dig. I know, that's you got two diamonds already. That is awesome. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some diamonds myself. You might, I'm one, whoa, that is awesome. Let's grab all these diamonds, amazing. Our first cache of diamonds, that's fantastic. Okay, Stampy Bot, we're gonna just do a little bit of, yeah. So we turned around, we dig, we dig there. And there was nothing to dig, but that's okay. We're going to stop the program there. We need to dig up as well. So we're going to move everything along one. We'll dig, move, and then dig up. And then move and move forward and then dig up. Okay, that should do it. Uh, and with this, we're going to we're going to do 100. Okay. Um I think that's going to be great. Let's go back to our remote control. 
Let's get uh, Stampy Bot lined up. Okay. Uh, we're going to dig here. We're going to move forward. We're going to move that. And we're going to dig a couple of places. And then we're going to press play. So there he goes. Oh, you stopped already. Nothing to dig here. Oh, there was a gap. Uh, so I'm not using the while, I'm using the for. So we'll just, if there is a gap, he will stop. And there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing is, um, is I was going to be lighting some torches, which unfortunately I can't do because, uh, because um, I've run out of wood. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's head back up to the top. Uh, let's grab this torch here and just make sure that we can actually put a torch down here. So at least we've got some sort of hope of finding uh, Stampy Bot when we when we come find him. There seems to be a lot of resources here. He's going to go on and on and do his thing. So I'm going to go back up to the top. I'm going to get some wood, and um, yeah, I think that little program there has worked a treat. Uh, so uh, he should be able to turn around. I'm going to follow him along and empty out all his uh, his lovely goodies that he finds along there. Meanwhile, we've got some diamonds. Okay. And those diamonds are going to be put to good use uh, by either making me a diamond sword or a diamond pickaxe, probably diamond pickaxe. Uh, and we're going to try and get ourselves some obsidian. And who knows? I wonder if... Uh, here's things that I don't know. I don't know whether I can take Stampy Bot to the nether. Okay. What is going on over there? A squid party. Hello, squids. So we could try our, our luck in the nether and find out uh, what's going to go in there. Uh, that'll be quite good fun. I'm not sure if he will make it or not. That's the only trouble. And then also we're going to be, once we've, uh, once I've got him strip mining, got loads of materials, uh, we're going to be building a little bit of an extension to this a humble abode, right? We're going to be programming a house. Okay, so Stampy Watt's going to be building me a house all to myself. Uh, let's grab some wood. And uh, let's go and make some torches. So I think that's it for this week. Uh, do let me know if you've got any particular uh, ideas for programs uh, that you think we could write. Uh, I think it would be it should be quite good fun if we can kind of think of any. And uh, let me know in the comments section below. And if you have been trying your hand at uh, computer craft, do let me know how you're getting on with it too. I'd love to find out what kind of programs you've made. And of course, there is that first challenge, um, which I'm going to be doing, which is going to be making a house next week. So do come back and join me there, see how I get on with it. Until then, thank you, and goodbye. Bye!